one of my favorite personal development audiobooks by Earl Nightingale, he talks about this consultant named Ivy Lee coming to a major steel manufacturer. He gave him a piece of productivity advice, which was a system, and that advice made him so much money that he sent him a check, I think, for $25,000 at the time, which now is several hundred thousand dollars or more. Now, in this video, I want to share what that productivity system was because that's exactly what I do every single day. What's up, guys? I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now, here is how the Ivy productivity method works. Step number one. You take out a piece of paper and you divide the paper into what I personally do as three to five boxes. So what I like to do is I take out a normal size piece of paper, I fold it up, and then it ends up being about maybe two or three inches wide by four inches long. And I chop it into three to five sections. For me, what seems to work best is to break it into three different boxes. Now the second step is you have the list of the things you have to get done. So maybe it's in your day job, Maybe it's in your business or maybe it's in school. And you have to sort them by the most important to the least important. And I would limit them to five total things. So, hey, each thing could take an hour if you're at your day job or it could take longer than an hour. But what I tend to do is you find the most important things you have to do first and you put them in those boxes. One, two, three, four, five. I limit it to three again. And then you number them. One, two, three, four, or five. And all you have to do during the day, whether it's school or work or your business, is you start at number one and you don't make yourself move on to number two until number one is finished. So let's say, for example, the first thing I had to do today was I had to write an email to go out to my audience. The second thing was I had to shoot and edit a YouTube video. The third thing was I had to check my email and work on this new project that I'm working on. I don't go on to the video editing process until number one is done. And the reason why this system is so genius is because the third step is if you get to the end of the day and you have not finished the list, you don't carry on to the next day, you have to start removing things from your list. And I think there's a brilliance in this simplicity because it's showing you you're not being as productive as you should be or you're doing too much, which means you're not focusing on the right things to actually get results in school, the results at your job, or the results in your business. So if you've done five things and the whole week you didn't manage to get to number five once, then you cut off number five. And if you thought number five was important, you need to reevaluate why you're either not being productive or you're not working on the right things that allow you to get your work done in time. So those are the two God questions that come out of this exercise. Am I working on the right things or am I just doing too many things and I'm not being that productive with my time? And there's a lot of filler where I'm on the internet or I'm just screwing around. So I hope that helps you guys, a super simple exercise. Before you go, I want you to comment there below and let me know for you, what is the best productivity system you've seen work for yourself? Again, the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development or weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And again, you can check out my latest two videos and the related ones right here and right here. Mm -hmm.